everybody. Uh, I am now highly hydrated or more hydrated. I don't know why I said highly hydrated. I guess it's a Monday and we all can't speak properly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, we're going to jump into Square Enix's um, Final Fantasy 16 reveal for the PlayStation 5. Um, Ophelia has all the details on this one, but if you guys are excited about it, let us know in chat and let us know what you're most excited about with Final Fantasy 16 if you're a fan of the franchise or if you're not. Uh, Ophelia, what do we have to look forward to with this title? Well, this one is kind of a special one because um, the producer of Final Fantasy XVI is Naoki Yoshida, who saved, literally, Final Fantasy XIV, the animal RPG, and is the savior of the license in my heart. It's like family now. And he just released a teaser website um, showing a bit more about the world and character of the new coming uh, Final Fantasy opus. And I'm so hyped about that because it seems a bit more mature like they did with the 15 but it wasn't finished yet like the whole boys crew doing car trip wasn't really i love that what are you talking about <laughs> cooking in that game was amazing the game um, was good but the story was a bit lacking like if yes. you don't see the movie before playing you'll completely lost and well there's some points where you don't really know what's going on. Yes. And this one seems a bit more focused on the original stories with the primordials, with the crystals, with the entire world. It's not like the prince goes saving the princess. It's a bit more, I don't know, in my opinion, it's a bit more deep than that. Like how long have you seen a child splattered with blood on a video game <laughs> and that just shook me when i said i was like oh, is that final fantasy because i feel like they're taking shift and i'm really curious about it but mm -hmm. you didn't seem convinced can we um well for me okay it's the whole medieval thing right like i wasn't a fan of final fantasy 14 i'm a fan of uh seven i actually enjoyed 15 um just because it was a stupid boys club that I couldn't take fully seriously but you're right the story was out there but I feel like for a lot of Final Fantasy games it's not near the spectrum of like Kingdom Hearts but the stories are really convoluted and I always find myself doing more research on like what the hell is happening um, just because the story is everywhere a lot of JRPGs are like that um, so for, for for 16 it's just for me the whole like medieval type thing I just don't it's not what I would expect of a Final Fantasy game. And I, I think that's why it's harder for me to um, jump in and really try to commit to at least trying the game. Like right now, I'm, I don't even want to try it. I just maybe want to see what everyone else thinks and then I'll hop in. Well, the medieval side isn't the main side, in my opinion. It's like if you said that the 15 was just a car ride. Like, yes. Okay. <laughs> no. Like... Yes, but no. And it's kind of the same because you have Clive with the main character protecting his brother who has some powers and you feel like there's a story behind it more than just we're going to need to save the world now. And just for that, I'm curious because we all know they can make great stories mm -hmm. and Final Fantasy Square Enix can make great stories and Noki Yoshida can make great games. So combining both I think could be like a really good surprise. Plus on PS5, yeah. what more can you want? Very true. I the only thing I'm worried about with the story is they there is very thin line of becoming too close to Witcher or too close to mm, God of War. Yes, too true. close yes. to I've got a, a younger person that I got to look after because they're super powerful and they could destroy that. That's been done a lot. So I just hope that they keep the story original into its own. I think that it could be amazing. And I like the whole, you know, cutscenes of fighting monsters. And I, I, I'm super excited for it. I think I'll probably play it no matter what. But I think that story is going to be a very fine line because I wasn't super interested in the story. It was just more of like the imagery of everything got me excited. And that's the thing. I feel like Final Fantasy is just beautiful. Like even, you know, back to the earlier consoles, um, first gen consoles, like the game just looks 
beautiful compared to everything else that was on those yeah. consoles. And I think it still kind of holds that as a core of what Final Fantasy is about. Everyone looks super cool. Everyone is decked out. You want to be them and live in this really beautiful world as well. And mm -hmm. that's what drives me to Final Fantasy. And yes, it looks really cool. But for me, visually, I just, it's the medieval thing. I, it, you're, you kind of hit the nail on the hammer, Malik, there. It, it's a little too close to like the Witcher to God of War, they have to still keep that um, Final Fantasy element um, that really makes you look at the game and be like, that's Final Fantasy. And if it strays too far from that, it will be a real shift for the franchise and I think the future of what the franchise will do. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it could be a good thing uh, to get another fan base in there, but I think it will be hurting hard, like hardcore fans that started out with Final Fantasy from day one. Yeah, and where is the love story? I mean, all good Final Fantasies have a good love story. And I, know. <laughs> I hope we won't see one between the two heroes because that would be weird. But where is the love story? I mean, there's a girl. Well, you don't really know where she's coming from because she's a childhood friend. And there's the girl, Koda. But you don't get, you're right, both of you, you don't get the the kind of sparkle you get with the usual Final Fantasy. There's a Chocobo, but is that enough to call it well, a Final the Chocobo, Fantasy? The Chocobo didn't even look like a Chocobo. Am I the only one that was like, what? Is That's a Chocobo? Like, it kind yeah. of... It reminded me of like a grittier mature, but like when you think of yes. Chocobo, you think of like the most adorable the thing on the planet yes. ever. You want to, <laughs> when your your character's on the Chocobo, you want to sing the Chocobo song, right? Like that's it's weird. just everything that's cute and enjoyable. And they're like just maturing it where it's going to have wrinkles and you're like, ah, like, you know, when um, SpongeBob, I, I watched SpongeBob, okay. <laughs> You know when SpongeBob zooms in, or even like Ren and Stimpy, they zoom in on a character and you see like all the pimples and stuff? Uh, That's yes. what they did with the Chocobo. I don't want that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want that. I want to zoom out and just see the cuteness that is the Chocobo. I think it could be it could be cool for Final Fantasy. I mean, but it, you can't even say that it'd be cool for Final Fantasy to get more mature because it's always been mature. Yes. So I don't know if it's like they want to take a grittier edge. Because mm. it, lo it looks really good, but it did feel more Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Witcher than it did feel Final Fantasy. But mm -hmm. either way, I'm still really excited for it. I think that it's just going to take us a while to kind of get all of the parts of what it's actually going to be. Yeah. Because it's kind of, from my understanding, that's what Final Fantasy 15 was, too, is it took us a while to kind of figure out yes. what the game was going to actually be. Because I remember seeing that initial car ride, and I'm like... What is, Why are there cars? Like, yeah. <laughs> that, I'm confused, but yeah. you know, they they surprise us, but they they tend to hit home runs. Well, and yeah. that's the thing. I think when 15, um, they showed the car, and like they were all about this car. You could get a special <laughs> edition. It was a BMW they had a contract with, or something like that, and you could get the BMW or something in the car in it the was OG. game. Mercedes. Yeah, or Mercedes. Mercedes. Yes, I yes. Know. OG. Well, it was one of them. <laughs> it was an expensive yeah. car that I can't even pour money into because I'm too poor. But um, <laughs> it was it was like you're like where the where's the Chocobo? Like what? It, it doesn't hit home as a Final Fantasy game. And then when they started coming out with more gameplay, when they came out with the movie, it made you, okay, yeah, this is a Final Fantasy title I could kind of warm up to. And that's the weird thing that I feel Final Fantasy has always had, but more leaning into all the other elements of um, if they have a launch title, what else can they do? Is it a movie? Is it an anime? Um, do they have shorts that come out to support the story? And it's smart from a marketing standpoint, but I think it starts to lose the message for core gamers that just want to play the game and yeah. have that um, full-fledged story where when they play the game, they know exactly what it's about. Yeah, yeah and uh, they, you know, for me, I'm, I'm lost. On <laughs> 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 I there's 16 of them and there was a remake of the seventh one last year and oh there's one where there's a car and there's one where in the medieval times uh, oh. where is the storyline are they all is it an anthology <laughs> theme like does Ultimate anything story. connect like yeah, yeah. Right. how right. does one follow this storyline how, Jack, do you can you it? how big does the whiteboard need to be for you to map out 
the Final Fantasy Ooh, story. Yeah, big. Each game okay. is separate, yeah. so you don't need actually to map anything because okay. you can play any game without playing any one prior to that. Oh. It's yeah. But if but you wanted to map out, all, you need to watch yeah. a movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. If you want to understand one, you may need a pretty big whiteboard in terms of the movie, <laughs> what the book talked about, what's on the back of the cup noodle package. <laughs> like, it's all yeah. over the place in terms of what's actually <laughs> happening. But I, okay, at least to their defense, it's not as bad as Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Try to figure oh, out that. Right. Okay, it's no, kind of oh, this. Which is crazy because aren't there only three kingdom hearts games like no no three four titles but then you have like remakes 1.5 2.8 like they're look it up it's bad it's bad. Going to times can you make disney characters fight each other we're in decimals. <laughs> why yeah why they're decimal characters fighting each other though what yeah they're in decimals come on and, See, that, and I remember I was watching the trailer for Final Fantasy 16 when it was premiering during that PlayStation 5 showcase. Yeah. And I remember like at first I thought I saw one of those chocobos and I was like, wait, is this Final Fantasy? And then I saw the medieval thing and like I was like, no, this, this is not Final Fantasy, right? And I saw Square Enix's logo and I was like, oh, this is Final Fantasy. And then there was more medieval stuff. And I was like, no, this is <laughs> what is this? What is I going on? What is going on? I think like Dymore is in chat is like Caboose is like, what? What trying to put it all together? Um, Agent PDX says Goofy's being the crap out of people with a shield. Yeah, he's like woyoing all over the place in Kingdom Hearts in 2.8. He's like woyo. Um, that was that was a bad impression. I'm sorry. That's not how Goofy <laughs> sounds. Um, but yeah, like I feel like a lot of JRPGs kind of go with this formula that may translate well to like the Asian audience. Um but like in Asia, but I feel like here we're just so used to just having everything presented to us and it's not a good or bad thing. It's just what we're used to. So when they're marketing to like a more North American audience or people who may not be familiar with JRPGs and like what the common elements of, of it is, it's like, you, you got to do better. <laughs> you got to do better. <laughs> you, you can't do catch up. And that's what they did with Final Fantasy 15. They caught up on how they were marketing and like, okay, people aren't getting it. All right, let's change the marketing and really just focus on the gameplay to show it's a Final Fantasy like title. Um, and I hope that's not the case with 16. I hope like, I just hope it's different, but I feel like it's not going to be. Yeah, it's. I feel like it's going to be different because for the medieval side of it, it's really like the 14. I mean, like Final Fantasy 14 is medieval-ish like you have old castles and if you look at the video the screenshots the characters mm. look really really like the ones yeah. you can get in the 14 like there was one dude that was like i've seen this guy before and no i don't think i did it was probably an npc somewhere but i feel like that's the you can feel the mark of the producer now no kiyoshida you can feel that is the one taking it so it won't look like anything we've seen before because I think it will be more like the MMORPG side because you don't have a love story in the game. You just follow one or two people and it's more like geopolitics than yeah. a love story. Yeah. And that's the main switch, I would say, but I'm not sure it's a bad thing because I'm kind of sick of love stories and being the prince, going to save the princess is fun, but ugh, Mario did that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's interesting because, you know, I, you keep making this comparison to Final Fantasy 14, and that just has me thinking. I feel like 16 is really just more service to fans of 14. Like, I feel like people who've played 15 aren't necessarily the same people that played 14. Um, there are two different games, right? Two different types of games. It's just interesting that we're seeing that style of 14 put into more of an like action adventure game um, mm -hmm. that you would expect, right? From like one of like seven or 15. Um, yeah. So I feel like maybe they're just Square Enix is saying, you know, 14 made us a lot of money. Let's just focus on those fans. <laughs> And I think it's 14 made more fans than 15 because 15, when it came out, nobody understood what's going on. Yeah. They even had to do DLCs to explain the following stories. And there was a movie. And 14, you just go what? play and you get it. 
oh yeah, yeah, there's a movie. You need to watch a movie, then you play the game, and yeah. after the game, there's a DLC explaining the 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 end of the game. Yeah, you gotta and, pay for them to explain the yeah. game to you. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're you not just back in the 14th, so I think it's good somehow. Yeah. I don't know. Caboose, want... Caboose's, Caboose's face. face. <laughs> he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna end up like a, a at an emo somewhere. <laughs> I'm dumbfounded. <laughs> He's like, wait, they're just making money telling you what the game is about? <laughs> yes. Yes, they are. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. And it, it's yeah. possible for 16 to be setting up for some linearity within the Final Fantasy no. world? No. Heck no. No. You don't think it's been ever... so long. We are on Final Fantasy, six, Final Fantasy 16. Where is the linear? Like, nothing is. Gonna, <laughs> they don't know what they want to do. And it, it's kind of like um, this frustration that I used to have with the Legend of Zelda, right? Every time there's a Zelda game that comes out, you fall in love with that Zelda story. And then you're like, oh my God, I want to see what happens before. I want to see what happens after. And you're waiting and the new game comes out and it has nothing to do with the previous story. And they did that for years, decades, decades. And um, now we're kind of seeing um, that lineage with uh, Breath of the Wild 2 coming out. But I feel for Final Fantasy, they they don't need to. Um, they know that their fans are going to play it. They play it for the mechanics. They play it because it looks beautiful. They play it because it's cool and badass. Um, so I, I don't think they necessarily have to because like, what characters? There was no characters in this trailer that really mm -hmm. stood out to me as being like, I want to follow them. Like when Maybe you see Joshua Cloud. The kids. Maybe no. the kids. Yes. No. Yeah, but you're following the kids right now. But you, well, in the in the trailer, you can see the big brother Clive as a young man and then as an old dude, creepy one, tattooed. Mm -hmm. So what happened to the kids? Like is, I don't know, 12? So he's going to be 20 somehow. And then he can't even grow up. And they did that with Noctis in the 15th, yes. where you play him young and then he gets old. So you could, but it wouldn't be like 17. It would be like 62. Like they always do like 16 2 or 14 2. And yes, you don't have follow ups. I'm calling it, I'm calling it right now. This is spoilers, the conspiracy hat, whatever you want to call it. Something uh -oh. happened where that kid went into his demon form. His what? What are they called? The the icon. He goes into his icon form, turns into that demon. His big brother and a bunch of other icons have to kill him, and the big brother has to carry that weight with him. And that's the second probably. half of the game. It, yeah, probably. It, they said it was going to take a dark turn. So and yeah. that just sounds like kid. every other. Final Fantasy game where it's like, oh, now someone's gonna, you know, like, and and it's fine. It works for them, um, but it's just gonna be interesting how it is received, especially by Final Fantasy fourteen fans that are used to this MMORPG. Um, yeah. They like, you know, there's movies about a fan who played Final Fantasy fourteen with their dad, and like that is what this movie is about, and that's real life. Like, there's so many gamers that got into Final Fantasy fourteen that's played it for a long span of time that may not be so familiar with the other Final Fantasy games to now go into a new mechanic, um, just to get that feel of fourteen. I, I don't know. It, it's it's just confusing to me what Square Enix wants out of this game, and I don't know who necessarily they're appealing to. Gameplay wise, it's more like fifteen than fourteen. Exactly right. I so mean. It's yeah, the graphics are like well, no, it's the atmosphere, I would say, is like 14, but everything else is 15. I mean, but that's the, the thing graphics, you're, the fights yeah. are amazing, but that's the thing you're hearing from fans of 15 that look to 16 and they're like, this is not Final Fantasy, and then you're hearing from people that played 14, the MMORPG, that look to 16 and are like, this looks so cool, but I don't know about those mechanics, so I really don't know how successful this will be. Um, because I feel like people are going to have mixed feelings when the game comes out. Either way. Yeah. yeah. It's Final Fantasy. I mean, you mm -hmm. either love it or hate it. You're yeah. not in the middle.